टू कैलकुलेट और डिटरमाइन द डेल्टा बॉन्ड इफ अ कंपाउंड इज गिवन एंड इट इज़ वेरी इजी यू जस्ट हैव टू फॉलो सिंपल स्टेप्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द वेरी फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज वेरी फेमस आर ई टू सी एल एट टू नेगेटिव और राइट आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो ऑन दिस वेयर आई हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस आर ई टू सी एल एट कंपाउंड नाउ हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द डेल्टा बॉन्ड सो सी यू हैव टू मेक अ डाइग्राम डेट दिस इज अ सिगमा दिस इज अ पाई और राइट एंड दिस इज अ डेल्टा दिस इज अ बॉन्डिंग पार्ट एंड सिमिलरली फॉर एंटी बॉन्डिंग जस्ट टेक द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ इट सो इट विल बिकम दिस इज डेल्टा स्टार दिस विल बिकम पाई स्टार this is pi star and this is sigma star which is very obvious because delta bond is when you have four bonds this is sigma this is pi this is pi and this one is delta all right when four bonds are there then delta bond comes into the picture so this is sigma this is pi 2 pi and this is delta and same goes for the anti bonding part i hope this is very easy to draw so let's calculate how to do that so in re2cl8 calculate the oxidation state of this re all right so let let's say it is x so it will become 2x and this is chlorine has minus 1 charge so it will become minus 8 equals to this is minus 2 so this 2x equals to Eight minus two, that means two x equals to six. And in the organometallics, I have already told you this Re has how many valence electrons? Seven. All right. So this will become seven into two equals to fourteen. So so min take minus fourteen minus six equals to eight. Are you getting my point? so in this compound re2cl8 this re2 has eight electrons all right because six charge is there and plus 3 on each so fill this eight electrons this will become 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and we all know that bond order equals to bonding minus anti bonding all right divided by 2 so this will become 8 minus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 minus 0 divided by 2 so this is 4 all right that means it has delta bond and by the way the color of this re2 cl8 2 negative is royal blue just keep that in your mind royal blue okay and the characteristic and properties like which which will be in eclipse form which will be in staggered form i will make a dedicated video on that in this video we are limited to determination of delta bond let's take another example and this one is mo2 cl8 four negative again take the oxidation state let's say molybdenum is x so this will become 2x minus 8 equals to 4 this is minus 4 so x 2x will become minus 4 plus 8 so this 2x equals to plus 4 all right that means how many electron does molybdenum have 6 it is in the chromium family so 6 into 2 equals to 12 now subtract 12 minus this 4 so it will become how much 8 so again you have to fill the electrons this will become 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all right this is sigma pi pi and this is your delta so the bond order will become 8 minus 0 divided by 2 so this is again 
it also has delta bond between both molybdenum atoms all right so let's take another example and this time let me see and by the way this is you see all the electrons are paired so this is diamagnetic all right same goes for the previous one all the electrons are paired so this is also diamagnetic let's take another example this is osmium 2 cl8 four negative let's see whether it has delta bond or not so again this is 2x minus 8 equals to minus 4 so 2x equals to minus 4 plus 8 so 2x equals to plus 4 all right how many electrons does osmium have it comes in the iron family so 8 so 8 to the 16 so 16 minus this 4 equals to 12 so fill the electrons so we have this one sigma pi pi delta delta star pi star pi star and sigma star so how many electrons 12 so 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is pi star. This is pi star. This is delta star. Delta pi, pi, and this is your sigma. This is sigma star. Now see, bond order is bonding electrons one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minus anti-bonding one and two. All right. Divided by two, so this is six by two equals to three. That means this compound doesn't have delta bond. And one more thing, if you look closely, there are unpaired electrons. That means it is paramagnetic. So if an examiner says calculate the paramagnetism in this compound, spin only, then it will become root and n plus 2 where n is the number of unpaired electron which is 2 so this type of questions can come in the examination all right so let me take one more example for much clarity let's say i have a compound this is re2 cl4 p me2 ph This is four and positive. Now see again, you have to calculate the oxidation state. So this will become two x minus this is four, so minus four because chlorine has minus one charge. And see plus this is a phosphine ligand, and there are four number. All right, but you know that phosphine is a neutral ligand, so it will become Zero into four. All right. Let's say you have CO, carbonyl, phosphine. These are neutral ligands, so it will become zero into four equals to plus one. So this is two x minus four equals to plus one. So two x equals to this is how much? Plus five. And you know that in Are how many valence electron? As I told you in the first example, there are seven. So seven into two equals to fourteen, and this is fourteen minus five. This will become how many electrons? Nine. So just fill nine electrons. So this is your sigma pi pi delta, and this is delta star. All right, this is pi. This is pi pi, and this is sigma. So one two three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is nine. So what will be the bond order? Bonding minus anti-bonding. So these there are eight bonding electrons minus one anti-bonding divided by two. So it will become seven by two equals to three point five. All right. So this is the bond order. And I think this this type of question has come in CSIR examination where the bond order was three point five. If I'm not wrong, all right. So these type of questions are very easy. You can solve any question by just drawing this MO diagram. 
for your practice i am giving a question this is re2 cl4 pme2 ph4 and this is 2 positive you have to calculate the bond order for this compound this is your homework and do let me know in the comment box what value you have got so for and again as you can see there is one unpaired electron so this compound is paramagnetic know the properties part whether it will be eclipsed staggered and what is ESR properties this type of things I will cover in the next video all right let's say this is re2 cl8 this is the color is royal blue why because of the delta to delta star transition are you getting my point this transition same for mo2 cl8 this is bright red in color so these type of things i will cover in next video so for the next time thank you and please subscribe to my channel and bye Thank you.